Now we'll go with another example on converting NFA to DFA. So this is the example has given in this Q1 is the initial set and Q2 is the final set. Now write the transition table. Transition table for the given NFA. So here this is the transition table in which the input symbols are 0 and 1, the states are Q0 and Q1 and Q2. Q2 is the final set here, Q0 is the initial set. Now you will see what happens if you apply 0 and Q0. If you apply 0 and Q0, you are going to Q0 only. You are going to Q0 only. If you apply 1 and Q0, if you apply 1 and Q0, you are going to either Q0 or Q1. If you see 0 and Q0, you are going to Q2. If you see 1 and Q1, you are going to Q2. If you see 0 and Q0, you don't have anything. 5. If you see 1 and Q2, you are going to you are, you, you are not going anywhere. So then it is final. Uh, it is 5. Empty state. Now we will write the transition table for NF, TFA. Transition table of DFA. Transition table of DFA. Now we will see. Here the initial, the states are inputs are 0 and 1. Initially you have to start with the Q0. Q0 is the initial set of NFA so that it will be the same initial set for DFA also. Now you see 0 and Q0. 0 and Q0 you are going to Q0 only in the NFA transition table. So what happens if you take 1 and Q0? You are going to Q0 and Q1. Now in this line, already Q0 is discussed. Now the new state is Q0, Q1. Now we will write Q0, Q1. Now you check what happens if we take 0 and Q0, Q1. Again, delta of Q0, Q1 on 0 equal to delta of Q0, 0 union delta of Q1, 0. So what happens if we apply 0 on Q0? If you apply 0 on Q0, you are going to Q0 only. We are going to Q0. Union, if you apply 0 on Q1, you are going to Q2. We are going to Q2. Now the new state is Q0, Q2. Q0, Q2. So now if you apply 0 on Q0, Q1, you are going to Q0, Q2. Now similarly check what happens if apply 1 on Q0, Q1. Delta of Q0, Q1 on input symbol 1. Delta of Q0, 1 union delta of Q1, 1. So what happens? 1 on Q0, if you apply 1 on Q0, you are going to Q0, Q1. You are going to Q0, Q1. Similarly, if you apply 1 and Q1, you are going to Q2. You are going to Q2. Now, what is state you got? You got a new state. Q0, Q1, Q2. Q0, Q1, Q2. So, this will be the new state. Q0, Q1, Q2. Now, here it is over. Now come here. In these two states, which one is the new one? Both are new one. Now we will deal with Q0, Q2. So now 0 and Q0, Q2. Delta of Q0, Q2, comma 0 equal to Delta of Q0, 0 union delta of Q1, 
Q2 comma 0. So on applying 0 and Q0, you are going to Q0 only. So if you apply 0 and Q2, you are going to phi. Now you are going to the same state Q0. So here you will write Q0. Now similarly, delta of Q0 comma Q2 on 1, input symbol 1. Here delta of Q0 comma 1 union delta of Q2 comma 1 equal to what happens if you apply 1 and Q0 you are going to Q0 Q1 union. So what happens if you apply 1 and Q2 if you apply 1 and Q2 it is 5. Now you got the state Q0 Q1 Q0 Q1. So now Q0, Q1. This is already we have discussed here. Now this one is completed. Now this one is completed. Next we have to discuss about Q0, Q1, Q2. So now you take Q0, Q1, Q2 here. Now we have to check what happens if you apply 0 on Combined set Q0, Q1, Q2 from the given NFA. So here, now we will see delta of, delta of Q0, Q1, Q2 on input symbol 0. On input symbol 0, delta of Q0, 0 union delta of q1 comma 0 union delta of q2 comma 0 now we have to see what happens if you apply 0 and q0 in nfa diagram nfa transition table 0 and q0 you are going to q0 only you are going to q0 only union 1 and q0 you are going to q2 you are going to q2 so if you apply 0 and q2 nothing phi so here q0 comma q2 that means this is the new combined set q0 q2 which is already discussed this is already we have achieved this state next similarly you have to apply delta of q0 q1 q2 comma 1 equal to delta of q0 comma 1 union delta of Q1 comma 1 union delta of Q2 comma 1. So now what happens if we apply 1 and Q0, 1 and Q0 you are going to Q0 comma Q1 union. What happens if we apply 1 and Q1 you are going to Q2, you are going to Q2. Now what happens if we apply 1 and Q2 phi? That means finally you got Q0, Q1. Q2. So, which is already discussed. Q0, Q1, Q2. Now, there are here, this, this is completed. Now, come here. Here, Q0 is already discussed. Q0, Q1 is already discussed. When you come here, Q0, Q2 is already completed. Q0, Q1, Q2 is already completed. Now, you got finally four states in the equivalent DFA. So, this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. Here, this is the initial state of and the states linked with the Q2. Here, this is a final state and this is also final state because in these two newly combined states, we have the state Q2. So, Q2 is the final state in NFA. So, the same thing will be applicable to DFA. So, whatever the states linked with Q2, all states will become final states. Now, we will write the DFA from the given transition table. Now the states are Q0, Q0, Q1, Q0, Q2 and Q0, Q1, Q2. Now this is the final state because Q2 is there. Q2 is the final state in NFA. 
now this is also a final state now this is the initial state now we will check so if you take 0 on q0 where you are going q0 only no q0 if you take 1 on q0 you are going to q0 q1 if you take 0 on q0 q1 you are going to q0 q2 if you take 1 on q0 q2 you are going to same state if you take 0 on q0 q2 you are going to initial state q0 if you take 1 on q0 q2 you are going to q0 q1 if you take 0 on q0 q1 q2 you are going to q0 q2 if you take 1 on q0 q1 q2 you are going to the same state here if you apply 1 on q0 q1 here sorry here you are not you are going to q0 q1 q2 but not q0 q1 here this is not a, when you apply 1 on q0 q2 q0 q1 you are going to q0 q1 q2 but not a, q0 q1 is a small mistake so this is the way of constructing and DFA from the given NFA. I think here uh, nearly I have given four examples. You understand how to convert your NFA into Euclid DFA. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.